Seven Android privacy settings you need to turn off immediately. Let's start in the settings app. I'll swipe down upper right hand corner of the screen, tap that gear icon in. We're going to scroll down to privacy. That's kind of the place to be. Let's start with Permission Manager. Which apps do you want to have access to your location, microphone, camera, etc., all this stuff? It's interesting to me how they separate each one of these now. Mm -hmm. So it makes your job a little bit harder, but it also makes the apps job a little bit easier to get around the restrictions and track the things that you don't want them to. So let's start with about? location. It can also be a bit of a battery drainer in addition to a privacy issue. So here are some apps that have access to my location all the time. Amazon Shopping, Facebook, Snapchat, do these apps need access to my location all the time? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So let's just pick on Facebook, for instance, tap on it and then allow only while using the app, ask every time, don't allow. Up to you from there. That's the safe choice. That's okay. the safe choice. I mean, the thing you need to really worry about is allow all the time. So just anytime, even when you're not using the Facebook app or any app that has access all the time, it's gonna be using your location. And using your battery. So another way to look at this one is allowed all the time is allowed to use your battery all the time. And if you think of it like that, it's easier to turn these off. Yeah, so I mean, really for all these, I would you know either choose don't allow or allow only while using the app if it needs your location. Let's go back to Permission Manager. How about camera, which apps? have access to your camera. Fortunately, none of them are allowed all the time. Again, you don't want certain apps to just be able to access your camera all the time, even when you're not uploading a photo or taking a photo or anything It just like can be accessing your camera. It's yeah. amazing to me that this is even an option. Yeah, and one more thing we'll check out is microphone. Which apps have access to your microphone all the time even when you're not using them? Maybe they're uh, trying to listen to you a little bit. But fortunately, we have none allowed all the time. If you see allowed all the time, maybe switch that to while using the app, especially for something like Zoom. If you want to actually participate in a Zoom call, it needs <laughs> access to your microphone, so you're going to want to allow it to have your microphone access. But As not. I look at this list, the one that stands out to me is Samsung Capture. Anything that you don't use frequently mm -hmm. should be turned off. And if you then go into the app later on and it says, hey, you know, you've got to use this feature, just come back here, turn it back on. Yes, we tap on Samsung Capture. Ask every time or don't allow. Let's just set it to don't allow for now. Let's go back to the main page of privacy. Next quick tip, turn off send diagnostic data. A little bit of battery tip there. Samsung they, would like your help though, David. Yeah, they would. I think they can improve their own products. Yeah, tap, I agree to send diagnostic data to uncheck it and then tap okay. Next up, Android personalization service. We tap on that. Get personalized content based on your app usage. For example, text you've entered in one app Whoa. may appear as a search suggestion in another app. This data is stored in your phone and not sent to Google or Samsung. Google or Samsung may not see it, but the app that you're using will. And so will the other apps that it's being shared with. That is scary to me. It's not as secure as they want you to believe. So we're right. gonna turn that switch off. Let's tap back to the main privacy page. Next up, Google location history. Do you want Google tracking and saving your location all the time, even when you're not using Google services? Let me think about it. Yeah. No. Most people's gonna be no. You can come down here and tap that turn off button, scroll down and then tap pause. If you don't wanna do that and you want that location data, let's tap cancel. There is an option to auto delete. So we tap on that. This is a hilarious option yeah. to me for the record. So auto delete, three months. 18 months or 36 months, also known as three years. <laughs> by that by that time, you're probably getting a new phone. So. Yeah, you're getting a new phone. Well, it's probably stored to your Google That's account. True, you could yeah. probably go through phone after phone after phone. Three years is a long time for Google to be tracking everywhere I go. I mean, if you want to leave it on, I would suggest three months. But for me personally, I would just go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, what if you get a new girlfriend, David? Well, David's married. Yeah. Sorry. Good example. What if I get a significant other, uh -huh. and then I dump that person. But Google has saved my location, so mm. every time I get in the phone with my new significant other next week, I, I get the U-Haul, then that person is gonna see all these suggestions to the previous significant other's house. There you go. And then I'm gonna have to find yet another significant other, and then I've wasted two weeks of my life. Well, you can just turn this off, tap got it. Now it's off and Google's not tracking my location. And the thing that's crazy to me is that it's tracking your location even when you're not using Google services. So it's just all the time. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a I mean, lot. when are you not using Google services technically mm. on an Android phone? Almost never. Almost never not using them. Let's go back to the main page of the privacy settings. Let's tap on ads. But I like out, ads, David. Opt out of ads personalization. We're gonna turn that switch on. We get a lot of pushback on this, you know. I wanna see personalized ads. I don't wanna see really low quality ads. And the truth is that you won't. Number one, these advertising networks have so much data on you that 
you can't possibly just opt out of everything. <laughs> Number two is that you still you can still see contextual ads. It's not like you're gonna see triple X ads. Triple X. There's those spammy pop-ups that we used Nobody to see. Nobody wants to see Vin Diesel ads. Yeah. Literally no one. Shaken and stirred. Let's set back to the main page of privacy settings one more time, usage and diagnostics. Turn that switch off once again. We're just cutting down the amount of data that we're sending what off. What the heck are they supposed to do? Don't you feel bad for Samsung? Yeah, it could be a little bit of a battery drainer. Also can use cellular data to send your usage and diagnostics data to Samsung. Next up, a setting not in the privacy section of the settings app. We're gonna tap back to the main page of the settings app on your Android and then tap biometrics and security. But before we get into this, do you mind if I just talk about another setting? Not to get too confusing, the join button underneath this video, you can join us. We're trying to build our member base and there really aren't that many Android members yet. So if you'd like to join, we would love to hear your opinion. Get your perspective and then tell us why Androids are better than iPhones. I was thinking that, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So in biometrics and security, let's scroll down and we're gonna tap on install unknown apps. Do you want apps to be able to install other apps on your Android without your permission? I mean, this is the most ridiculous setting, or at least one of them. I always think this is the most ridiculous and then we find another this, one. But... I think this is really the most ridiculous setting. So let's just mm. tap on Chrome for example. And it says right here, installing apps from the source may put your phone data at risk. And this is like a Google app. Right. I can think of very few use cases where I would actually want an app to be able to do that. I want them to ask my permission before they go off installing unknown apps. Of course. And I mean, I can't remember when I installed an app and it was like I opted into the setting. Right. Like, it's kind of BS that they make you opt out of it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that'll change in a future release. Yeah, so I would really just go through and turn off install unknown apps for for everything. 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 Yeah. That's it. That is. <laughs> I'd like to install an unknown app, please. Surprise me. Surprise it me. It should be called the surprise me feature yeah. or the I'm feeling lucky feature like in Google search. Yeah, I, one more thing I will say is I, I think with you know Chrome and Samsung, the odds that they install something really nefarious on your phone are pretty low. Right. But once you get to some of those you know less quality apps, you can run into some real big issues. Yeah, and what happens is that these apps have partnerships with the apps that they're installing where they get a kickback yep. if you then opt into this other app that just showed up on your phone, which, oh, by the way, can then start to send you notifications that it's an antivirus software and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to get McAfee now. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Those are seven Android privacy settings you need to change now. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. As you said earlier, please join this channel. It would We'd love to have lot. you. And if you don't like us that much, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you too. You got to turn it on to turn it off. Got to turn it on to turn it off. So you get a lot of pushback on your diagnostic data is worth money to you. But as I look at this list, the one that stands out to me is Samsung Capture. Anything that you don't use frequently mm -hmm. should be turned off.